DoggyDiamondsTV.com. What it is, people? It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds. This the homie right here, Danny Myers. West, he, West. He all the way from the West. He came, he's in Brooklyn right now, so it was only right that I came and, and meet up with him. And, Absolutely. And, and tell him too. about the town and tell him what's going on out here. I called off like 80 hotels he could have stayed in out right, here. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm definitely a, a, a fan of your work. Appreciate it. And how you've been putting it down for some time now. Yeah. You take battle rap very, very, very serious. Some people say you take this shit too serious. What do you say to them? I've been doing it for uh, since 92. You know what I'm saying? So we all the way in 2016. And that's a long time. You know what I mean? So it's for, for, for you to do it from there to here, you got to take it serious. And, you know, it's, it's an uh, art form that I respect. You know what I mean? And I'm just trying to put my little my little spin on it from the West and just keep the, the art of lyricism alive. So I definitely don't play when it comes time to get in that ring. And, and a lot of times people say, um, yo, I think he take too many battles. He be battling a bunch of nobody sometimes. That's crazy. What do you want to say to them people? That's crazy. Uh, for one, you should only be criticized if you take a lot of battles, but the, the quality of the content is diminishing due to you taking excessive battles but as y'all can see every time i battle i got new material original material no recycles no chokes no stumble i'm light i'm electrifying the crowd every time no matter what city state i'm in so and what do you first of all i'm battling bums like i battled the greatest writers of this generation from excel verb cortez jc rum nitty KG the Poet, Chilla. Heartless, <laughs> Danger, Chilla, the list, I, I fought the, the toughest writers of this era, not of the last when Arsenal and Fight Club and them was doing it, but from this generation, I've been in the ring with the toughest writers they possibly can offer, so what do you mean, like, ain't none of them niggas no bums? The, 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 um, the T-Rex situation was so controversial, Yeah. Um, at, at one point, you know, he was like, he was just one to just dead you on your money. That wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, like, like, I, I spoke with Rex plenty yeah. of times on the phone, man and man. He 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 just played it like that for the public. You know what okay. I mean? That was just a, a stunt. It was a publicity stunt. That wasn't no real shit. As you can see, he still did the battle. So the battle y'all 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 did that night was on the URL stage. Yeah, definitely. The balls you had in that battle was that the balls, or did you? Taylor make some new shit. I had new bars that I didn't even get to spit because when I got to that point, that's when I was cut off by Nunu. Okay. Cause I'm not even mad at Nunu. She was just doing her job. You know what I mean? So. I remember time. motherfuckers as mad as a motherfucker. They was like time. I was like, oh no. Yeah, it, I mean it was whack because that this was a controversial battle. It's been yeah. like a year in the making, and then a nigga don't even get to rap. All the shit he had, you know what I mean? But I got the majority of it out for the most part, so I wasn't really tripping. But and you still disrespected his nephew. I, you know what? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? A lot of people say that was very disrespectful. All I said was, "You died the same day as your nephew." Is that ain't disrespectful that, to you? No, because listen, <laughs> his, his nephew was murdered. Uh -huh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. And yeah. that, you know. Uh, that was the morning. Okay. Later that night, he battled Charlie Clips. And, I understand. And, and okay, died. it makes sense now. So, I, all I said was you died the same day as your nephew. I didn't say I'm glad your nephew did. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the nephew. emphasis of how you said it. It, it was the way I said it. The performance it. Was, 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 it was on a hundred. Seemed like I was being very disrespectful, but I, I wasn't. But it is what it is. Man. Let me ask you something. It's battle rap, right? right. Isn't the point to be disrespectful? Yes. Is it, is it is it right. lines that you shit and cross? Right. What do you do? I, I believe so. Okay. I mean, you got people like Arsenal who just don't give a give fuck. A fuck. We'll, QB don't give a fuck. We'll talk about your dead folks. And that's the one line I won't cross. Okay. Per me personally, I won't never talk about. Ironically, I won't speak on dead dead people. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna say you know fuck your dead cousin, fuck your dead auntie. I'm glad the bitch nigga dead. Like I don't do all that. But any anything else is it goes. It's your mama, game. your baby mama, your kids, your grandma, nigga. I I, yeah. I go there. With is you. is it a battle that you won't take? Do you turn down battles? Uh, no, I actually don't turn down battles, and that's why you see me battle frequently. Okay. I just can't get to every single battle okay. that I'm requested to do because like league owners and battlers themselves and managers. Hate me every day for a battle in a different league, a different state, a different opponent. I just can't 
possibly do them all. What, what's your hit list though? Lux and Hollow. Lux and at Hollow. At this point. And and yeah. And some people would say, well, how is Mook not in that conversation? I'm I'm not really uh like like I feel like Lux and Hollow will push me lyrically, creatively push my pen. I don't feel like Mook would motivate me to write. Is it it does it have to do more with style opposed style. to yeah, okay. Style. It, yeah, cause Mook's more like a, a angler. He'll kinda like break you down. Hollow is too, but Hollow's a You don't bit. know what the fuck Hollow gonna do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hollow <laughs> kinda don't know what Lux gonna got, do either. He got it all. Yeah. But yeah, but Lux is revered as one of the greatest writers okay. of yeah, all yeah, yeah. time. And then he is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I feel like I feel like honestly Lux has never faced another elite writer in his whole career. Lyrically. We gave him this title of greatest writer, but we haven't seen him against the greatest writers. He came back versus Calico. First before that it was young it was uh Midwest Miles, young uh -huh. Miles. Mm -hmm. Miles not really known for a crazy pen game. I didn't think Miles did too bad in that battle. He didn't do yeah. bad. I thought Miles did great. Yeah, he yeah. didn't choke, you know. Yeah. That battle could have went either way, but Lux Lux kind of smoked yeah. him, man. Yeah. And I think from that point is when niggas was like, yo, this nigga's way ahead of his time and then he came back battle calico calico is not a pin game guy he's more of a street talker yeah, yeah, bully. Yeah. you know what i'm saying he had the rematch with mook which like i said is a breakdown artist and that's what he did in that battle hollows uh unconventional and then who did uh who did lux just recently battle clips yeah. battle clips and clips not really uh supreme lyricist either so what i'm saying is lux has not faced another pin game guy that I've seen. Ball guy. <laughs> he has a yeah, yeah so yeah. he gotta he gotta be up in there with like JC, Chilla, Danger, myself, Daylight, Verb. We we wanna see Lux versus D. I don't wanna see Lux points. versus Verb though. I'm gonna keep Well it okay, with well not Verb. Right, right, but I think Verb will bring it. Might show up for Lux. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I wanted to tap into that. Um, your opinion on battles. Do some. Do you hold your opinion sometimes? Because niggas be emotional like a motherfucker when you say somebody lost or something. Do you sometimes not say, yo, I think you lost or give nah. your opinion on battle? Nah, or you I always keep it do? real all the okay. time. Because at the end of the day, if you, if you don't tell somebody they lost, they they going to think they won or yeah, they're not yeah, going to yeah. get better or grow from there. Yeah. So you need to just keep it real. Regardless niggas get emotional or not, like, people tell me all the time, I lost. Yeah. I don't, I'm like, okay, that's your opinion. Dude. I don't be like, fuck you, nigga, what you talking about, nigga? No, I don't, I don't really do all that. So two questions. Um, Mook mm -hmm. versus Lux, the second battle. Right, right. On the URL stage, do you think the outcome would have been the same? Yeah, I think so. Opposed to, opposed to Total Slaughter. I, I, oh, man, yeah. Maybe that wasn't the right stage for that battle. So I think... But uh, Lux's first round was actually crazy. You know, yeah. a lot of people really slept on Was it Mook was just that good that Mook, night? Mook, <laughs> his performance, his presence, plus it was just the fact that it was Mook back after yeah, yeah, the, yeah, after yeah, the yeah, Iron yeah. Solomon battle, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah. Murder Mook was back. It's like, he, the dude rag. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it was just the aura. And he, he I think he had some great attack points. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't think it would have been too different. Next question. Surf and Mook supposed to battle. Right. Does Surf deserve that battle, in your opinion? Mm, it ain't my place to say what man deserve what. Man. I ain't talking about his pockets. Fuck his pockets. He ain't talking about the money. We just saying, if you were... Lyric bar-wise? Yeah, if somebody else had to go... If, if Do you think Mook carefully nah. selects his opponents? Uh, I, I wouldn't say Surf deserved that battle per se. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Because a lot of people will criticize Surf for saying, yo, he's dope, but he ain't really never clearly... Like, beat yeah. a nigga down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's he never 3 like, old nobody. Yeah, he's always got debatable. So it's like, why, why, why him? You know what I mean? But that's what the people want to see. So He he definitely uh campaigned for it, though. He was getting on Mook nerves. Every interview, he was calling, <laughs> interrupting. Hey, that's what this he is He did about. what he's supposed to do. He yeah. did what he's supposed to do. Yeah, so. I salute him for that. You know, you're supposed to get in here and just call niggas out. Like, that's how it started. That's, a, that's where we came from. Like, call out who you want to battle. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's it's, that's what it used to be. So the, so the 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 elephant in the room, the biggest controversy right now is the war report list that I oh took part of. God. What was your thoughts on the list? Horrible. Was you mad at your placing, or was you mad at 
certain people should If you was going to put me at number 11, you might as well put me at number 100. That's how I felt. Like, I feel like me, Danger, and Chiller were top three batters of the year, hands down. Not to take away from K-Shine, who had a great year. Take uh, DNA had a great mm -hmm. year. Shotgun Suge had a great year. Tay Rock had a great year. And, and you know, uh, you might even say Pat stayed. But then you, you got... You got Hollow on the list who had a who had a battle and a one round. And you have Lux on the list who had one battle the whole year. Yeah. And then it's like you got Tay Rock on the list. And he's to me like Tay Rock my favorite URL battle. Okay, okay. I love Tay Rock. He's my favorite URL battler. Okay. And um he didn't really have a great, great year. I thought his battle versus um Surf really wasn't talked about like it should have been, and him and John John, that wasn't a great battle. I think I mean? was in the building from the John John um, Tay Rock building. It was better in the building. Okay, definitely it was definitely. I, I, better. I like Tay Rock and Calico. Yeah, I like that battle. But uh, but yeah, but to put me like at number eleven as an honorable mention, you know I, I started the year off uh, with uh, three Oing. Well, I'll be real talk. Okay. I thought that was a 3 0. I uh, battled um, Excel, went to Boston. I beat Excel. Uh, battled Rex, beat Rex. I had a crazy classic with Danger Zone. I had a crazy one round with Kali Smooth. Uh, had the, bat the crazy battle with Chilla. You know what I'm saying? These guys. I think that might have been Battle of the Year to me. A lot of people, yeah. yeah. I, I thought, you know, that was a crazy I battle. I fucked with that hard body. So, here's the thing you got Danger and Chilla. At number two and three, and I had crazy battles with both of them. The baby me beating both of them, mm -hmm. but I'm not on the list at all. Like, you was on my that, list. I wish I could show you. My how list. does that? Yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. the individuals list. I was on their list, but yeah. when the actual the list, tallying, I just felt like, like wow, what's what is this? This can't be accurate. Like whatever point system they use, whatever judging system they use is flawed. I Obviously. had pass on my list. I think yeah, pass was. I had pass on my disaster list. Disaster could have been on there. Yeah. Nitty could have been on there. I felt like if you put if you gonna put Lux and Hollow on there, you might as well put Nitty on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So no West Coast Battler got on the list. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That that just was crazy to me. So. They need to restructure however they they do that tallying system or whatever because it was the system is flawed. It's flawed. Um, the fans might not know, but um, and maybe you could clarify this for them. Is it a lot of politics with this battle rap league what? shit? How how bad does it get? <laughs> oh man, man, it's it's like right now it's about popularity and not about skills. Okay. A lot of times the dopest guys aren't on the bigger cars, aren't getting the big amounts of money, where as opposed to you're getting top tier guys who are bringing you maybe one round of good bars and, and two rounds of filler, bullshit yeah. and filler and chokes and stumbles and they're getting on the big cars time after time instead of there being some type of punishment system. Yeah, like, yeah. You know I said motherfuckers gotta go back to PGs if you get three of them. Man, like <laughs> and and then you'll have guys that are really Dope like like myself and Chilla and M City and Ty Law like the what they the fans would consider those type of rappers mid tiers you know what I'm saying yeah, like yeah, so yeah. when you got when you're considered a lyricist or a pin game guy whatever they want to quote unquote then you're a mid tier or you're a small room baller and you can't rock a big crowd rock a stage so there's a lot of politics that plays into who gets on the car who doesn't for what reasons so the knock on chiller is that he was boring at one point yeah that, but then yeah. he battled um prep right it was it, yeah and, and he, great. yeah he, he, and he great. dispelled that room of facts yeah, he, he like, stepped it up and just same thing with danger zone like yeah. when danger lost the goods you know, the majority of people was like, yo, he just school danger. Danger don't have presence or performance. But then he stepped his whole shit up. He has charisma, uh, crazy stage presence, crazy insane bars. Dang I think danger has like everything, you know what I mean? And Chilla stepped his performance up. You know what I mean? I get on the stage, I'm I'm bored. You out of your this. fucking mind. I'm, I'm I'm crazy performance too, but but they'll say like guys like us can't rock a big stage. But how would you know if you would never give us a chance? Put us on the stage with one of these top tier niggas and watch what happened. You feel me? What birth ball guy? It was a fan, okay. actually a fan on Twitter, uh, Matthew Nugget, uh, twenty three on on Twitter. He 
He was like, man, you got so many bars, you're just like a bar guy. He, he named me that on Twitter like three years ago, and I just ran with the name. So shout out to homie Matthew. And and is that sweater available for the people? Oh, yeah, this definitely be available. Um, Shell Bell will be putting up the information okay. where I can get merchandise. And shout out to Shell Bell. That's who yeah. I contacted you through. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm running with this GOAT title, man, because I feel like if in the grand scheme of things, I have the most bar fest of any one battler. In, in history, I've done, I've, I done spent the most creative and original bars in the shortest amount of time since 2013, 14, and 15. I done put out the most classics. If you could redo one battle you did, what battle are you most disappointed in yourself in? Hmm. I'm, I've never really been disappointed in, oh, you know what? The snow battle. On UFF where okay. I stumbled. I didn't choke. I yeah. stumbled and started my verse over and then finished it. Then like in the third round, I stumbled again. But that was really because I didn't have no rounds for snow at all. I did. I went into the UFF with only three rounds. Okay. And that was the three rounds for ID Boom. I beat ID Boom. I moved on to the next round. I battled snow the next morning. And I didn't have no rounds for them. Yeah, so I just went into my rap book, found some old verses, and tried to re... They were like 13, 14-year-old rhymes. So everything that y'all seen on the UFF, that was like 14-year-old rhymes. I tried to memorize that morning, and I just couldn't memorize it. I just went in there uh, unprepared, really, because I was I wrote for West Coast Red and Briggs Belvedere and Adi Boom. So I had nine rounds, and then the tournament started, and I didn't have... The rest Enough of the round. bar. So Which, yeah, if I could do that over, yeah. I would have smoked snow. Yeah. <laughs> like on some real shit. You know, I would have smoked him bad if I actually wrote for him. So far in your career, what's your proudest moment in any battle that you was like, I fucking did my thing in that battle. That's my favorite battle. And you know, it's been so many, so many dope battles that I done put on. Me and Ron Nitty was crazy. Me and Briggs Belvedere was crazy. Me and oh man, it's so many of them. Me and Danger Zone, me and Chilla. Wow, I can't, I can't even just really pick out one, you know what I mean? But I, 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 I pretty much am happy with the result of all the battles I do, whether people felt won it or lost. As long as I go in there, just give it my all, all yep. and you know, because you can't win them all anyway. First yeah, yeah, of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't win every battle. Like somebody's gonna say you lost. Like no matter how good you do, somebody's gonna say nah. Even though yeah, that was fire, but I edge it to boy. So. I don't really go in there trying to necessarily win the battle because you can't win, in, especially in a non-judged environment mm -hmm. like how we have. So I just go in there and just try to say the most original shit and just give the fans. I'm really rapping for the fans. It's like, I ain't really tripping on my opponent. Like, fuck what you talking yeah. about, nigga. I'm rapping for these people out here. Speaking on the fans, do do you see sometimes how they just turn on motherfuckers? Like, they love you one minute yeah. and then they're like... Fans are wishy-washy, man. It's you like, know? it's like they hate Daylight now, right? Like, Daylight is getting hated by a lot of people he, he he do it to be hated okay he does that shit to be hated you know what i mean like you know they like personally yeah yeah okay he, yeah we our fan we close man is it is it is it more to daylight than what people see yeah he has know? a okay. big plan he got okay. this whole plan that he's working okay. on that people will finally understand like okay this is why he's been doing it and he's been pretty successful at getting himself in other uh Revenue, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's everywhere. He's done tour. He's getting money from tour. He's about to be in movies. He's gonna be on TV shows. It's like he's transcended from just being a battle rapper that come and get paid thousand dollars, twelve hundred for this battle. So it's a method and to that's it. Yeah, there's a method to what he's doing. Like, and I, I ain't mad at him. That's not necessarily the, necessarily the route that yeah. I would take, but that's him, and that's what he do. The Norb situation. Did y'all ever get a chance to resolve that? Yeah, me and Norris okay. is cool, you know what I'm saying? We cool. We're probably actually working on something now to bring out some more dope battles to the West Coast. So uh, he's, he's got a heat series that he's putting together, and uh, he's going to do one in the West that I'm going to help him with. So, you know, we we on good terms. And when will we see you on that URL stage again? Hope if, you know what I'm saying, if they could give me uh, Tay Rock, Lux, or Hollow, then that's when I'll be back. So that's your top three. Yeah. We looking at Summer Madness or... No, Summer Madness, uh, okay. one-off, however they want to do it. And, and um, your price, does it vary? 
or are you set on that like yo i gotta get my extra because i think y'all telling y'all prices kind of fuck the game up a little bit because everybody start expecting a certain amount of money actually well i will say mine varies okay it varies be, depending on the opponent and the league because okay. some some leagues don't Just don't got don't it. got it like that and some okay. you know and and you know, some some do. So you gotta know your worth and you gotta get with but at the end of the day, I never really got into battle rap to get money. Like I have a job. Like I work, mm -hmm. a regular job. I also have a business that I own in Vegas. You know, I have other hustles that like coming into battle rap to make money was not my goal. It was really the company. I mean, you would do a phone best. battle, everything. You don't give a fuck. You just I done battle I done battle fans. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did text battles. I yeah. battle <laughs> Walmart. Like, nigga, I'm just a battle rapper. I'm a throwback. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a throwback MC. Like just the mentality of like I'm dope, I'm better than you, and let me show, let me prove it. Like so, that's where I come from. With I'm not really about all the diva shit, all the extra shit. Like oh, I want to be a top tier, or I want to be on this stage, or I need this amount of money yeah, for yeah, this yeah. thing. I ain't, nah, go get the nigga you said is cold and bring him here. Yeah. That's my that's my thing. So that's why. You know, I'm, I'm looking at uh, Lux and Hollow because that's the that's who the people say are the goats. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, no, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm a two questions, two last questions. Um, who was your toughest opponent so far? Yikes! <laughs> oh shit, man, toughest. I've been beat maybe in two battles that I would concede that I might have lost, and. Uh, my first PG, I battled Jay Rail. He uh, was able to use angles, jokes, humor. Same thing with the uh -huh. Cortez battle when I battled Cortez in Dallas. Um, I think they was able to use humor and angles and jokes. And it was pretty tough. That Those battles were tough. Okay. You know, because it's like bars ain't really working. Like, these guys are sidestepping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I would say J. Real and Cortez, but outside of that, Rum Nitty and Danger Zone were, were real, real, real tough. And what? And, and, and last question: Give us a bar that you might have said in a battle that completely went over everybody's head. Yeah, and you I, just, can't, I can't. Yeah. Do one. I can't do one because there's been so many, <laughs> so many of them. So there's man, there's literally thousands of bars that I, that I have online right now that people still ain't caught yet. Uh, so. I can't just pick up. What they got to do? Watch it over and over? And then, what, like, how, how do you yeah, think they'll do You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lux be saying, you know what I'm saying? Rewind the time is more to find. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And that's what he mean by that. He's like, because he's got so many hating, hating jewels and gems and trap doors in his bars that upon the first listen, you go, you're not going to hear it all. But then if you go back and really study and break shit apart and sift through the bars, like, Oh that helps the God. replay value too though. Yeah, so that's kind of how I write. You know, I write in the same vein as that. Like, I have a lot of hidden shit that if you're not paying attention to, you're going to miss it. So I just can't pick out one, man. All right, that's what it is. I'm here with Danny Myers all the way from the West Coast. We in Brooklyn, my hometown. Yeah. We finally got to lock in and, and, and put out, yeah, you know, this right coming. here and shit. Just let them know, man. We on Doggy Diamonds TV. Yo, man, we on Doggy Diamonds TV, man. Shout out Doggy Diamonds. I've been wanting to meet this man for a long time. I'm a fan of his work. Outside of the battle rap, too, man. The man drops a lot of knowledge. I'm, he's very smart. This is an honor, you know what I mean? So just shout out to everybody. Get at me on Twitter, Molotov Myers, Facebook, Danny Myers, YouTube, backslash Danny Myers.